Yo, what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on the MCU. And this will be a theory that I have for one of the TV shows in particular from the Disney Plus ones. And that being Loki. But before I do that, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more MCU content coming your way. So as you guys might remember, in the Super Bowl trailers that we got, we had very cool sneak peeks and like a short trailer for all the Marvel shows. But when it came to Loki, we had a very tiny sneak peek on it and it was Loki imprisoned in some place. And we hear him say, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. And that was it. Now, despite how short it was, it was still really, really cool to see. Now, at first in my trailer breakdown, I found it kind of hard to figure out how Loki got arrested. But then, when taking a closer look at the prison outfit, you can clearly see the letters T, V, and A. And the only thing that like works that fits with that that i know from the marvel comics is time variance authority and like when you think of time variance authority you'd go okay this makes sense now let me explain how now for those who are unfamiliar with who they are at first they are basically an organization monitoring different timelines so they search alternate timelines to see if those timelines are still intact but if you guys will remember in Avengers Endgame, Loki escaped with the Tesseract. This created an alternate timeline and is a timeline that fractured probably the space-time continuum or something. So the Time Variance Authority would have been aware of what Loki has done and would have arrested Loki. So this is how I'm theorizing how Loki got arrested. But why... Why didn't Loki escape? Well, these Time Variance Authority people are really goddamn powerful. These guys could literally like wipe out timelines if they wish to, and like any anyone living in it. So even if Loki is the god of mischief and he escaped this, if they destroyed that timeline, Loki would pretty much be dead. So yeah, this is how Loki got arrested. Now, the Time Variance Authority first made their debut on Thor issue 372 as well. And they do play a big role in the X-Men and the Fantastic Four comics as well. So they are pretty much setting the Time Variance Authority going forward into the MCU as well, which is quite interesting. So in terms of the Loki TV show, I'm predicting that the ba big bads that we will be getting for I think six episodes it is six episodes will be the time variance authority and as I said they are pretty powerful so just because there's some organization don't go oh this will be boring because Loki's pretty much a god and he'll escape no these guys are pretty powerful um yeah this is pretty much it for the video guys and if you guys have enjoyed the video please give a like and subscribe tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think of this theory and yeah i will see you guys in my next video